Hello, Master of Occupational Therapy students. My name is Ezzie Rogers, and I am the librarian for your program. Uh, welcome to your orientation. So today we're going to give you an overview of the spaces available to you at both Robert Luntz Library and Watson Wise Library. Uh, I'll briefly cover how to print. I'll show you the Occupational Therapy LibGuide, which is where you're going to find all of the library resources that you need. I'll give you a brief overview of the library website, although most of what you need will be in that Occupational Therapy Guide. Uh, and then I'll share with you a Padlet that's going to give you all kinds of help helpful links. So your program is unique in that um, all of your resources actually come from the main campus library, um, but you're over here, so physically you probably use WISE Library more than anything. I just wanted to flash the hours up here uh, quickly. I just want you to know when the building is available in case you do happen to be on main campus. Um, our operating hours are always posted on the library homepage, so there is the link for that. Now, at Munce Library, um, there's all kinds of different study spaces for you, big open collaborative spaces, um, but probably most useful to you will be study rooms and presentation rooms. The nice thing about those is that you can reserve them in advance. Uh, there's QR codes on every door to reserve once you're there, but since you are primarily on North Campus, if you want to reserve in advance, and I mean, you can reserve like a week out. Um, just visit that URL, the libcal.com forward slash reserve, or scan the QR code um, to get to that reservation page. At WISE Medical Library, um, you also have access to that building, of course. Their hours are a bit more limited from 8 to 5 Monday through Friday, but after hours you can get in with the badge. Um, that is their website there for you. Um, that is where you're going to do a majority of your printing, I assume. And here's a brief uh, screenshot of instructions on how to do that. Basically, you're going to email your print jobs as attachments to student.printing at utteller.edu. Um, and then they're going to turn around and send you a four-digit code, which you will put into a printer at the WISE library to release your print job. It should be a fairly simple process. Okay, so here to me is the most important part. So how are you going to get to all of the resources that the library has for you? And honestly, yes, we have our main web page, but the best access point for you is going to be the Occupational Therapy LibGuide. There's the URL for you and a QR code. Um, I've put in a screenshot of the different tabs, so it's going to show you um, what are the good ebook databases you can use to get to books? Um, how to get to journal articles using browsing? Uh, it will have so the databases list that's on that occupational therapy guide uh, are going to be selected specifically for your field. The main library page has an all database list, um, which which I'll show you that as well. It's also going to show you how to navigate your library account. Uh, the catalog, and how to get to other guides if you need help in other research areas, or maybe you want to do an evidence synthesis project. There are guides for that. Um, useful websites is self-explanatory. I know uh, that you guys are going to do a lot of writing and citing, so we have a page for that. It has a lot of APA resources for you, uh, Purdue OWL, APA style blog, uh, which is a good companion to the APA manual. Um, I would say there is no substitute for the manual itself, but this will help you if, you know, if you're in a hurry or just don't quite have your manual yet. Uh, the distant services page is a good place to go if you are having trouble, any access trouble. Um, it'll give you some advice for, for what to do. And of course, we have an e-textbooks page. So I'm going to actually show you around a little bit. This is what your occupational therapy guide page looks like. I'm going to zoom in. 
Okay. Um, there's the hours. Books and journals. I have a lot of redundancies built in. So to get to your e-textbooks, there's a link here. Or, of course, you can go to the e-textbooks tab. Um, and as I said, those are the databases that you can use to search for books. You guys have titles on reserve. Those are titles that have been set aside specifically for your program at the request of faculty. Uh, we have those on main campus, and I believe Michael Skinner has some for you as well uh, at North Campus. And here's a sampling of those titles. Um, it tells you about interlibrary loan and actually gets you right to that page. Essentially, if there's a journal or book you need and we don't own it, uh, we can borrow it from another library free of charge. Um, let's see. Oh, this is at the bottom of every page. It's a direct link to my email or booking appointments. I can meet you virtually or in person, whatever you prefer. Uh, the journals page. So I have put in uh, a link that will get you specifically to, oh my goodness, just kidding. Okay, I'm gonna fix that. Um, but there's a way to search for titles by subject. So these are supposed to be occupational therapy journals. I will have that link fixed before I come see you guys. Um, browsing is what we use to house the journals. Um, it'll show you what's available and you'll be able to get to your articles. This is a tutorial on how to get there and exactly how to search it. The databases tab, as I said, these are suggested library bases for your subject area, but you are not limited to these. Um, Munts Library has over 300 databases. To get to the full list, you would just click there and it would take you to all 304. Library account, catalog, and guides. Like I said, this shows you how to navigate your account, how to see what you have checked out, do you have anything overdue, stuff like that. Uh, library catalog is called Swoop Search. This shows you how to get there and how to search it um, step by step. I know I don't have a lot of time with you guys today, so basically I've built a lot of resources that you can refer to um, since I don't have a lot of time to cover them. Uh, the guides page, so we have a lot of different guides. This is the occupational therapy guide that I have built for you guys, um, but there's a guide on citation, on citation managers, all kinds of things, and this links to them and shows you how to search for different ones. Um, I'll just flash this here, but it kind of speaks for itself. These, these are websites that are going to be useful in your research. Um, the writing and citing page is really going to come in handy if you'll just use it. So I link to uh, Purdue OWL APA page, um, the Czech Writing APA page, the Writing Center. So this will link you to their page so that you can make appointments. Um, I will say that the more prepared you are, the farther along you are in your writing process, the more helpful they will be to you. But uh, you can use this link to schedule an appointment, and I do believe they'll do virtual appointments. It doesn't matter that you guys are here at North Campus. Um, just some more little helpful resources for you. Uh, so this is the Purdue kind of main page. So I don't know, maybe you're a real go-getter and if you decided to write something that you want to publish and you've picked a journal and um, they want AMA citations, they don't want APA, um, or maybe they want Chicago. So if you go to this page, it'll link you to the different kinds of citing. Uh, the style blog and supplemental resources from APA. So the APA style blog came in handy for me as a graduate student. Um, I would search for what I needed and usually it could point me to exactly where it was in the APA manual. Unfortunately, the APA manual is not available electronically through the library, um, but 
we do have it in course reserves on main campus. I believe uh, Michael Skinner has one at Health Science Campus as well. Um, sometimes if you search online, you can find a free copy. I can't speak to um, the legality of that copy, but uh, sometimes if you do a Google search, you will find it. Uh, the plagiarism checker is available to all UT Tyler students. Um, this just kind of tells you how to get there. Go to the, it should be built into your class, but if it's not, go to the Canvas 101 course. If you're writing a thesis or dissertation, here's some resources for you. Um, and there's Researcher Academy, which really just helps build research skills if you have interest in that. Um, the reference manager that UT Tyler sub subscribes to is called SciWheel. This tells you all about it and how to use it. Um, there's step-by-step -step guides. By no means do you have to use SciWheel uh, if you came from a program and are, are already using a ref reference manager that you really like. Um, I've got links to different trainings you can get for EndNote, Mendeley, and Zotero. Whatever reference manager you choose, we can support you with. Just know that you have full access uh, to the SciWheel resources. So as I said, the distant services is going to help you um, figure out how to get to the interlibrary loan page, how to register. If you have access issues, you can't open up a journal. You don't know how to get to a textbook. Something is just not working right. Um, this will link you to get help with that. Or of course, you can always reach out to me. Um, I will skip over information for faculty, but another page that you probably would greatly appreciate is our e-textbooks page. This is the home page. Everything is organized by course prefix. So for you, you're just going to go to Occupational Therapy, OCTH, and it's going to show you the books we have available for those courses. Just select a tab to find it. Um, if we don't have what you need, you can email me. I'll certainly look and just I can double check just to make sure we don't have it. Um, for requesting textbooks, unfortunately, at this time, only faculty can request those books. OK, so that's a quick overview of your occupational therapy guide. Let me go back to my presentation. Um, OK, so I'm not actually going to go to the website. I will tell you it has a lot of redundancies. There's a lot of different ways to get places. Um, but the easiest way to find what you need, there's a whole lot of scrolling. Scroll past all of this stuff underneath the banner and get to this blue section called Using the Library. It's going to link you to journals, databases, all the databases, not the occupational therapy specific databases, uh, to swoop search the textbooks, interlibrary loan, all the things I showed you on the occupational therapy guide. It's available here on the main library page. Um, I've also taken a screenshot and circled uh, the ones that are probably going to be most useful to you. The thing I do want to show you is browsing. That was the thing that was broken a minute ago that I promise I will fix before I see you. This is how you're going to find journals. Maybe you have a citation with a journal name and you're looking for the article. Maybe you're one of those people who just wants to stay up to date, stay recent on uh, advancements in your field. You would come here um, and you can search by title or subject or you can browse. So for you guys, it's going to be health sciences. Uh, from here, we have different subcategories, communication science and disorders, different things, rehab and therapy. We'll try that one. So again, here's more subcategories. You can pick what area you want, and it's going to show you all of the journals we have in that subject area. Um, from there, I'm just going to pick one journal of hand therapy. 
Uh, this shows you the most recent issue, but if you want to go back, I don't know, let's say to an article you found from 2012. 2012 issue three. So here's a table of contents and there's the articles that we have available. Um, you can click there and it'll take you right to it. So that's browsing. That's, that's going to be really important for you guys to find journals. Let's see. Okay, so the last thing I have for you is a Padlet that I put together. It's kind of general for graduate students in the health sciences. Here's a QR code, but here's also a link. Um, please save this. It's really going to help you, I promise. So this is the quickest way to find my information. You just click on it. It takes you to my page, so you can email, book an appointment, uh, and it takes you to the guides that I have made. Um, the library, the textbooks page is linked to there. If you have any interest in doing evidence synthesis projects or you want to know the right way you know, to do a systematic review, scope and review, uh, you would come here. Um, we have an AI guide as well. Uh, shortcuts to full text. So there's a couple things you can do to be able to find articles much, much faster. Um, I mean like one click type things. Uh, if you will link Google Scholar, to UT Tyler Library. That is one of the things that's really going to help you out. This is a tutorial that shows you how. LibKey Nomad is another tool where you basically, you find a journal title, you click on a little icon and, and bam, you're, you are in the article. Uh, this shows you how to install it and how to use it. Interlibrary Loan, I told you we can borrow materials on your behalf from other libraries and it costs nothing. You do have to set up a library uh, you have to set up an account. There's a one-time upfront setup, uh, and this will show you how to do that. Browsing, I've shown you how to do that, um, but the, here's a refresher. Here's your citation resources and more about SciWheel, our reference manager, whether you want to watch YouTube videos or uh, use a screenshot tutorial that I made. And when you really start searching for literature, um, I've got some tips here on how to break your research question into keywords, how to use Boolean operators, you know, those search operators and or or not. Um, and there's some special symbols that you can use to help refine your searches. So these are quick links to do all of these things. This really is going to be an easy access point for you all. Okay, so... I know that was fast, and if you have questions, uh, do not hesitate to reach out. Here is my contact information. Um, that QR code will get you to my to my bookings page, I believe. Uh, know that I'm available through Zoom, Teams, or in person. Uh, my normal operating hours are from eight to five. Operating hours, sorry. Um, but know that if you need an appointment after hours, just reach out in advance. I can usually accommodate that. I can change my schedule a little bit to help you out. Um, if it is after five or a weekend and you're stuck having access issues or can't find a journal article or something, uh, come to our webpage and we have a chat service available for you. Know that anytime the library is open, there is a real live human being on that chat service that is not a chat bot. And of course, if you need to call the circulation desk, that is uh, their number, 903-566-7343. Okay, that is all I have for you. Best of luck this semester. Again, don't hesitate to reach out. Don't struggle. If Just, just ask for help. That's what I'm here for. Thank you.